Hey, what's going on, guys? This is DC Reef, and I'm back. Did you miss me? I said, did you miss me? I know y'all have. I'm excited about this 2020 year. Main reason is because, one, I got married. Yes. Two, just bought a new house. What? Yes. No more apartment life for DC. And three, of course, getting a new tank. So, the third one is a little somber because I just got a new tank. Like, I got the great Innovative Marine Deep Dimensions tank, and um, I love the tank, but it's not long enough. Like, it doesn't have that showy tank feel that I always wanted, like when I saw World Wild Corals. And my wife, fiance at the time, not even my fiance, my girlfriend at the time. She loved that tank. She said, why can't you just get a long tank? And I said, I'm gonna hold you to that. So we got married, we got this house. I said, remember that time you said, why can't I get a long tank? Well, the time is now. So I've been working on the fish room. It's gonna be like right when you come in our house and it's gonna be awesome. So but for the time being, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna step down to a nano. I'm actually a 10, uh, 10 gallon in the bed marine, um, all in one, then, right? So I wanted some corals um, to stop me off so I won't fall back too, too behind too far. Ran to this guy, Chris Wood, on Instagram. Look at his tank. So you're running what T5s and yeah, three radium XR30 Gen 3 Pros and two Blue Plus radions. So, two, two so the question is, are you upgrading to the G5s? Nah. Nah. <laughs> might, I might get some G4 or something, but as of right now, these are doing the G3s. Those are the G3s? Yeah. Okay. Pros. So I have no reason to. So as you guys can see, look at the candy that this guy has. He goes by his last name, Wooten, on Instagram. I'll put in his little plug right there. Bam. But this is Chris. So I told y'all, I told y'all it was some fire and some candy up in this tank. And look, just look at it. Um, this is some of the stuff that runs Chris system. Helps him out with water changes, having a um, water, water um, storage unit. This right here is a... Uh, um, it's called a bandsaw, I think. Um, it cuts his frag plugs. Um, it helps him frag, um, you know, the zoas that he has many of. And I want to say some of like the um, harder corals. Uh, he could just put it on there and get precise cuts. Um, and he was showing me how to do that. I didn't know that didn't cut your finger, so that was pretty awesome. So I may invest in one of those one day. But look, just look, I try to get as many shots as I can. I was, you know, it's hard when you see a tank for the first time and you want to um, take it all in, but you want to record too to share with you guys. So I was in the middle of um, drooling, <laughs> not in this tank, but just drooling over it and wanted to capture some um, some shots for you guys. This is my first time seeing the tank um, live. So I didn't really have any type of um, plans to uh, record. But I took so many shots, um, top-down shots, um, with the flow on, with the flow off, um, some close-up shots. I just had to put together a little video to show you guys. Um, it's my plan, <laughs> if it's okay with the wife, that I come back every month and um, grab a frag pack. He hooked me up, and I'm so grateful for um, people like Chris and this hobby that um, don't try to take all your money, you know, try to help out um, and keep this hobby going.
So it's really good for the um, SPS also. Yeah, that, that, that was where I'm most... So yeah, I hit up some more shots of all of Chris Corals. Well, try to get most of them. Um, I have no idea the names of these corals, but I know what I like. So, Chris, when you watch this, just just know that frags of all of these SPS are definitely coming into my new build in 2020. Um, I just love the color. Um, the texture, the way it all ties in together. Um, SPS seems so daunting to a lot, but when you see tanks like this, you just get inspired and say, I'm gonna do it, man. I thought that was pretty cool. These clownfish was hosting like that tracky core or lobo, whatever you call it. That was pretty cool. Um, I, I couldn't stop taking videos of the top down. The top down look was just, um, just amazing. I did get a chance to speak with um, Chris on what his future plans and upgrades were and he's thinking I want to say he's nudging towards going um, with the 180 which um, I think is a great upgrade. This is a 125 so um, really I think he should go with the 220. I say that because it's the same dimensions just deeper and um, he will get that front to back depth that he, you know, that just makes the tank look just huge. So, Chris, again, hopefully Chris's wife not watching this, but Chris, if you're watching this, go ahead, go for that 220. Um, and it's, it's amazing. Um, this has me rethinking my um, my selection of tanks. This is a Marine Land, um, and they've uh, been around forever, and it's just, you know, I think I don't even think this has that starfire glass and all that remnants look, but really in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't even matter <laughs> the remnants or the non-remnants or the starfire, because once you see a tank like this, it looks beautiful. You know, you can't I can't tell if that starfire or not. So I think that um, this tank got me reconsidering that thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this spotlight of Chris Wooden Tank. Go ahead, follow him on Instagram. And the DC sent you, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.